boys. Today we got lucky. Lewis got off work super early. Did your wife know about that, or should, is that, did I just left that out of the bag? No, no, I let her know. So uh, he got off work super early, bolted on over. So today we're trying to get the flywheel, which is a special flywheel we got from some company down south, Kentucky or something. But basically it's made to, with the eight bolt pattern for an LT, but it accepts an LS style clutch. So uh, we got a clutch actually from Rock Auto that's a bit of an upgrade over stock. I actually wanted to go with an LS7 clutch, but we just couldn't um, with our flywheel. It wouldn't, wouldn't work. So. Anyway, we're gonna try to get the clutch uh, flywheel bolted on, and then we're gonna try to stab this thing into the engine bay today, and just kind of get an idea of what's gonna work. Is our oil pan gonna work? Um, where's our motor mounts gonna be? All that good stuff. To test fit the engine in there, and we found out that there's no way possible for an oil pan to work, even with the uh, the bottom pan, which hangs down a couple inches. We removed that, and we're still we're still hitting uh so even even this pickup tube's hitting so we're definitely yeah. gonna have to go with the holly uh, aftermarket oil pan and spend the 400 bucks unfortunately right. and we're hitting up front and we're hitting the front right so i think i'm hoping hoping the holly pan's a little bit smaller up there too so otherwise we're hitting some of the uh, power steering fittings up here how much do you think is in the way this probably... so we're gonna pull this off and then give it another shot Hopefully we can get it buttoned up, and then we're gonna actually try to weld in, pack in the motor mounts today. So let's just get a quick little video of how clean this thing is. So the story on this motor is at 13,000 miles. So super, super clean. I mean, I definitely believe it. And if we ever do go turbo down the line, we're gonna be good. Go big, go home. All right, so it took us a while of struggling because we could only get the motor and trans like maybe that far apart, and it was just too far to uh, thread in one of our engine bolts. So after about an hour, we gave up the ghost. We went to the hardware store and we got some longer bolts just so that we were able to thread it in and pull the motor together. And sure enough, that worked within two minutes. We had this thing basically done. Now we're just kind of tightening up a few more bolts. Uh, we'll probably test the clutch, maybe bleed it, make sure all that works fine. And then um, we basically got it about as high as it's gonna go, which is where we want it. And we're gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the motor mounts next, get those tacked. The only thing we're having an issue with, where we're a little concerned, we need to do some measuring, is the front of the motor. So we've got um, some very close, almost interference with the uh, power steering rack. So we may have to do something about that. We need to get some measurements on what the Holly pan will be in the front. And uh, we'll take some measurements, see if that'll work. Otherwise, we'll have to modify that. But otherwise, it's coming along this week. All right, boys, so we have got the motor mounts cut. Super simple. We were able to just basically make completely flat cut. We just did one time on each mount and it fits in there perfectly. So we're actually touching all three corners here and uh, they're basically just perpendicular right to the frame. This is where the original mounts were. So this pad's super strong. So we're just gonna tack them and then we'll pull the motor, fully weld them. And then I'm gonna, over the next week or two, I'll be kind of repainting all this, getting this all looking pretty for the final drop in and then we'll be good to go. But Mounts turned out awesome, and it looks like we have plenty of clearance for the Holly uh, oil pan that we're going to be ordering. So we, we uh, got the dimensions off the Holly pan, and uh, we've got plenty of room. We've got almost two inches between the top of that uh, fitting and the pan, or, or the seal, where the seal is. So, and the Holly pan is only about 1.35 inches, so we got plenty of room there. And we didn't have to uh, do anything to the rear cross member. Some guys had some issues with that where they had to move this. We didn't want to touch it. So I think we've, we haven't checked it, but earlier when we had less clearance, we had six inches, right? Yeah. And we only need five and a half. So we've probably got more like seven now. So we got plenty of room. The motor is up slightly, um, but it's not up too much. It's just a few degrees. So we shouldn't have any trouble with that. So it turned out awesome. We was getting some tacks in on the motor mounts here. Burning those babies in. Not really. We're just getting some tacks, and we'll pull the motor out, and then we'll finish weld it once all once all that's out of the way. All right. So it's the next day. Yesterday, right as we were about to finish burning the motor mounts, we ran out of welding wire. So Lewis is actually on his layover right now, getting some more wire uh, so we can get that going. Get these motor mounts all burned in. Just need a couple more tacks on there so I can finish driving out that pin. That one's a little bit looser than this side was. So. That's basically all we're doing today, boys. Just gonna get that burned in. Uh, we might play around a little bit with our PSI wiring harness over there. Just kind of look at some stuff we need. 
Uh, we think we're going to be moving the battery from this location to the back, so we're going to need some more wire, try to get some of that stuff on order. So today, uh, what I was actually able to go ahead and order was the uh, Holly LT Swap Pan. So I got the one, I think it's 302-22, which has an extra baffle in it for drag racing. So it was only like an extra 20 bucks. So if we're spending uh, 400 bucks, what's an extra 20 bucks, right? So we got that. We got the mass airflow sensor that we needed for the PSI harness and uh, Corvette oil filter, which is a little bit shorter than the truck one. So with all those parts, uh, they'll be here next week. And then hopefully that'll be everything we need to finish bolting onto the LT and uh, get this thing back in here permanently. And then we'll start uh, putting on the wire harness and doing all the electrical. So kind of first step of wiring will be engine harness, kind of make sure it runs, get a key crank. Then from there, I think what's gonna be more challenging is kind of creating our own harness for the headlights, the tail lights, turn signals, uh, the wipers, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna, we kept the factory harness. We're gonna try to use some of that, use some of those connectors and tie into it, but it should be a very simple thing. And that way it's gonna allow us to clean up a lot of this ugly that's all throughout the car and not have to worry so much about all these factory grounds and, and all those issues. So anyway, that's where we're at. So we'll get some updates in a minute once we get these burned in. Just while I'm waiting for Lewis, I'm just chopping off some unnecessary stuff. So these are the factory mounts where we had the, uh, some brackets to locate uh, the factory radiator. We're, we're not gonna be using that. We're just gonna make some custom mounts that'll look a lot nicer. So I'm gonna chop that off, chop that off. I cut this one real quick and I'll go back with a hammer, pop that out and then end up grinding this all smooth when we go to paint. But yeah, all this is gonna come off. And since we're relocating the battery, I am sadly gonna have to cut off my battery bracket. So. I think originally the thing was like this big. I ended up cutting it and you know tried to make it a little cleaner because what we have here is just that little tiny uh, motorcycle battery that we've been using with no issue. Um, that's just an older one, so we're gonna get a little bit, we're gonna buy a brand new one, obviously, but uh, we're gonna get a little bit bigger one too. So I saw they had some sweet Harley uh, AGM batteries with real high cranking amps that I think we're gonna put on here and should work just fine. But we're thinking the new battery location will be back here. So we might look, see what our options are for a box and just kind of locate it right there and then run the wires up. So should make it look a little nicer up here. No more battery box, well, battery tray. And we got rid of all this little stuff. Of course, now I just gotta go, the hard job be finishing it off, grinding it down, making it look like it was never there. And uh, then uh, we'll go ahead and repaint all this. So we're gonna paint the firewall, all this same metallic silver. <laughs> and uh, the chassis, and I think this part, this whole front, we're gonna do blue. So the same metallic blue that we already did the cage, we're gonna end up doing this whole front. And then kind of this whole bottom section, I bought some black enamel, and so that's just gonna be all black enamel that way. Won't show, won't show the dirt as much, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I think it's actually a satin, so it's not a gloss, just a satin, black enamel. Keep that looking good, keep the frame rails looking sweet, those will be the silver still and uh, go from there. Louis is here, we're getting them burned in. Some of that black paint, some rust stop. Joking that these welds for the motor mounts but way stronger than the factory stuff that's even holding the plates on. So we should have no problems with these. All right, guys. So we have now got the uh, motor mounts fully welded in. Lewis took care of that, and I also got uh, just some other stuff kind of cut. We had some uh, clearance issues with uh, this brake over here. Which side am I on? There we go. With the uh, for the ABS, so we kind of chopped the edge of that guy off. Sorry about that, guys. My uh, camera ended up shutting off, and I didn't realize it until I was just going to edit it tonight. So um, that was it. So it's 
basically uh, motor mounts are in, it's all done. So kind of the next thing I'll be doing in the next week is just cleaning up uh, the motor mounts, painting them just so they don't flash rust and all that kind of stuff. And uh, then doing some paint. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.